maybe the origin of that call goes back to when the Miami Heat with Dwayne Wade and Dwayne Wade went to the line 500 times <laughs> against Dallas. And they started to look. The D League where teams shoot early and often. Here's a Bussy now. Bussy off a of screen. He's going to turn it over. And these will be two of the easier points that TJ Warren will score in his career. So Warren's got an early seven points. Uh, this provided Coach Bjorkman in the jam with a quite a spark off the bench. Now here's three on the clock, and Warren gets it to go. The nice touch. Listen, no. he's paying for it now. And then we got a turnover now by the Stampede, and Warren, who's already got 11, will now have 13. I mean, you say 13, I say what? You got Alameda, Idaho's really good player. So it takes a high level of concentration at all times to be successful, you let down for a minute, that 10 point lead dissipates very quickly. And the Jam are back on top once again and now Warren's gonna have 17. So TJ Warren, like you said, Alex, has been the master of the vulture baskets tonight. I mean, scoring and he's averaging 24 points a game. Now Earl Barron still can't get anything to go, but there you go, TJ Warren with the emphatic one-handed putback. Under 50% from the free throw line. Getting out rebounded 35 to 27 and now being outscored in the paint. All things we mentioned before the game. And Coach two, Bjorkman. Two easy scores right in a row. I mean, you know, nothing forced. Now you're on a little run. And there's TJ Warren, so quick six point. And he feeds it down low to his Phoenix Suns running mate, TJ Warren. Warren now being guarded by the shorter Zimmerman. He's going to step back and drain it. That's the that's the first shot. Dumps it down low to Wright. Wright's had a solid game, but TJ Warren pokes it away and he's back the other way and he gets it to go. So TJ Warren